4-9, we are coming to port to avoid you. Warship 9-2, we are coming to port to avoid you as well. So on November 29th, a strange uh, occurrence happened in San Diego Bay between U two U.S. Navy ships. To help us better understand this incident, we're now joined by Sal Mercagliano. He's a marine historian and former merchant mariner who keeps track on all things naval. Sal, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. So we got this, you know, what appears, you know, externally to be some kind of harrowing footage of the destroyer Momsen, the dock landing ship Harper's Ferry appearing to get pretty darn close there in the bay. Can you kind of take us through what happened from, from your perspective? Sure. So a busy day in San Diego Harbor, 20 ship movements going on, spread ac across five docking pilots for the Navy. So an extremely busy day. You had a high profile vessel coming in, the Tripoli, just coming back in from its deployment. And here you have Harper's Ferry heading out, Momsen heading in. And basically the ships got themselves into a meeting situation, a head-to-head -head situation while coming around a turn just above North Island. And what the vessels did was basically in, in lieu of doing a port-to-port -port passage passing down the left side of each vessel, they wound up doing a starboard-to-starboard -starboard coming down the right side. But it was fairly ad hoc. They had to do it at the very last minute. And there was a moment there where it looked like it could have been a dangerous situation. But fortunately, they were able to communicate with each other, make that decision and get past each other. What is kind of the best practices for a situation like that? Would you have expected uh, how how would have those two ships passed ideally in a in a safe, you know, professional situation? So, so what makes this really stand out? was the fact that normally, and what you saw happen just prior to this, is that Harper's Ferry took the Tripoli down its port side. And that's normally what you would see, is a port-to-port -port passage going out. Just like you drive down the road, you would put your, your, your vessels on, on the right side of the channel. And that's normally what you would do. But again, what you had in here was two very unique situations. The Harper's Ferry was coming out. You had a tide that was coming in at the time. And so Harper's Ferry wound up being a little bit off center in the channel, more toward the left side of the channel. Momsen at the same time was taking on the docking pilot. So they had a tug alongside the starboard quarter and they were forced to maintain a course and speed until that pilot was on board. And really, again, what you had was a happenstance here where both vessels began to make their turn almost simultaneously at each other. And fortunately, they were able to get on communications and decide to take the starboard, the starboard passage, not a violation of the rules of the road, as it's perfectly what you can do, but it was a very high vis incident taking place in San Diego Harbor, especially after a round of collisions have taken place over the past few years with Porter in the Persian Gulf and Fitzgerald and McCain, which resulted in losses of lives in 2017 in the Western Pacific. But just based on your experience in this, in this sector, do you see fault there or do you see, uh, you know, I mean, is this just something that kind of happens, but it was just very high visibility because it was captured on camera and, you know, went viral for a news cycle? I, I think it highlights a couple of issues that are that are really important. Number one, I think communication between the ship should have happened earlier. Harper's Ferry took the turn too soon and really put itself into the side of the channel where Momsen should have been. Uh, this is a very tight area of the channel. They should have better coordinated where they would be doing their meeting. The fact that Momsen was taking the pilot on board, for example, really forced it to maintain a course and speed that didn't allow it to come on the inside of Harper's Ferry. I, I also think there, I think the thing about this issue that's really in particularly that we should take note of is it avoided a collision, which is the most important thing. Do you view this as, you know, a fireable offense uh, for somebody aboard, you know, one of those ships? Or do you think this is best uh, taken as kind of a, a sobering, you know, lesson for, you know, those who are in charge of those vessels? No, I, I think this is a learnable moment. And I, I don't think anyone should lose a job or even get dinged at, at all for this because they were able to extricate themselves out of the situation, which is what you want. You, you exactly want to happen what happened. Now, you could make the argument, well, they shouldn't have gotten themselves in that situation, which I think is the learnable moment. That's the thing you want to 
talk about why was it that Harper's Ferry made the turn when it did? Why was Momsen taking the pilot on board when it got into that situation and really couldn't uh, maneuver like it should? I, I think, you know, it's really important to take these moments. And again, we, we have it caught on film. I think it should be talked about more with ship handling. Elmer Cagliano, we really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. This is Jeff Zuluitz with Navy Times. 